Hey everyone, Dustin here with Tillmore, and today I'm going to talk about finger weeders on older tractors, particularly the Alice G. One of the things we get a lot um, is, hey, will the finger weeders fit on my tractor? And oftentimes it's the G, because a lot of you guys have the, these great tractors from the late 40s, early 50s, and uh, you know these have great visibility for cultivation. Uh, but the finger weeders came later, so how do they work? Do they work for my situation? And so we're going to go over that today, specifically um, on well, I'm going to hit on what doesn't work and what does work. And, and really the challenge for pretty much all mid-mount tractors um, that are, especially the older ones, is really that space in the middle. So um, that's where we're kind of, kind of, I have the nine inch here and I've got the 13 inch over there. We're going to talk about both of them and, and where they do and don't work. And, um, and so again, the G, the biggest challenge is going to be this space right here in the middle and getting caught up in where your foot section is here. So that's where most of the tooling in general, even the basket weed or something to keep in mind uh, that, that uh, you got to deal with there. Um, and so for, for our scenario, when we get a lot of calls, um, you know, it's interesting, a lot of people have modified their units too. And so we have to kind of sometimes seeing pictures and stuff is good. This is our um, 19, I think 49 G and it's, uh, it's an oldie but goodie. And, uh, and we don't have an extension on yet, but I'm gonna talk about the extension and how that gives you even some more options for tooling. Um, we do have, there's different ways to set up finger weeders and we always recommend the best use of finger weeders is with something in front of them. So a blade, in this case, we've got uh, A blades, okay? So something to kind of break up, fracture the soil before the finger weeders um, are coming through, whether it's a cutaway disc, a spider, a, a blade, a vegetable knife, something like that. Those are all good things to have in front. Now, in the case of the G, your spacing again is limited. So if you're trying to stack both tools to have better efficiency and uh, better you know, weed termination, um, you're kind of even more limited on what, what you can stack. So um, if you're just doing the, the finger weeders by themselves, it's not too difficult. You can put a parallel bar here and you could have the fingers staggered um, with 13s um, by themselves on, on this toolbar pretty simply. Um, even with trailing arms, if you want to do it, you can do trailing arms too. Again, we tend to try to recommend to add something in front of it. So if you want to add something in front of it, we went with the A-blades for this particular setup because I've got an A-blade here and an A-blade here. And my row's coming through this, this area right here. If I had something like a vegetable knife, tender plant hoe, disc or something, I would need to have one on each side, like I do here, but then I'd also have to have another one in next to the middle row. And that creates, you're just, you, you have very limited space on the toolbar for, for hooking up the different uh, uh, accessories there. So um, I'm gonna touch on the nine inch here, the way we've got it set up, kind of how it, it does work, some, some potential challenges and cautions with it. And then we'll go to the 13 inch and show kind of how it doesn't work and why we're gonna then install the extension so you can see what, what can. Okay, so I've only have three fingers on this side that are nine and I've got three 13s on the other, but you get the idea if they're, if they're if you got, we're setting up for three 15 inch row centers, okay? Um, if you're going wider than that, obviously you got more space to push things out. If you're going narrower than that, say a 12 inch row centers, um, you're going to, uh, definitely need the extension in that case um, and the nine inch fingers. Um, but for this case, 15 inch row centers, nine inch fingers, um, you know, the middle row works pretty good. Uh, one thing to keep in mind here is this torsion bar. Technically, um, when this is in the ground, depending on where this, uh, the, the toolbar is lifted, this bar can catch this piece right here, right in the middle. Okay. Now, that's pretty easy fix if you want to just torch or grind off that end a little bit if you need to. Again, you probably don't based on the orientation that you're, you're, you're going to be operating it in, but one thing to keep in mind. Otherwise, this is pretty straightforward there. This is the piece that gets a little bit trickier, okay, because um, we have this, your footrest right here. So this is just barely clearing it. And if you've got your foot sitting up there, um, you don't want it to bump it off, uh, just some safety things to kind of keep in mind there. Ideally, a uh, bigger offset shank would help you um, to bring this stuff even further and still have your finger um, out where it needs to be. Um, but this does work, okay? The caution with, with any of these things without the extension 
is as an operator, you're going to be sitting right here, okay? And, well, not a big problem right now, okay? It comes up right, right next to it there. But if I have my foot here, not a big deal. It might bump the bottom of it. Again, not quite recommended. But if you have these further in, um, then you're coming into here, which if you're sitting here and these, these are right behind you, if that comes up and catches you, it could catch the back of your foot there, which would not be very fun. Um, and so while this does work with the nines without the extension, just there's a few cautions to kind of keep in mind. So here's the 13 inch side. Now this, you can see we're getting a little tight on some things and there's a couple things to kind of look at. Obviously this right here is not ideal when you're, when you're doing that. So you really don't want that because it can catch them drag and you can then wipe out some of the crop you're doing. So you don't want that. You really, this needs to be back further. Now in this case, you know, this is as far as this can get back on this mod bar. Um, we could go to our next length and bring it back a little farther, which would help um, keep it away from here. Now the problem is, again, if I lift this up, I'm getting really close to here. Um, and if I have my foot's here, uh, then this is going to be bumping your foot. You could have more pinch point uh, concerns there. And it really just, it's not, without the extension, I, we really would not recommend trying to do the 13s. You, you, you can do some kind of finagling around to try to make it to work, but it's, it, you really need to uh, uh, get the extension if you want to do the 13s. Now, if you want to do the 13s with, say, uh, two 30-inch rows, definitely that works, that works great um, because you, these can come up further. Uh, but if you're trying to do 15 inch rows, um, and even really, I would say anything where you're doing three rows with 13s under G, even if you're doing 318s or 320s, you're, you're really going to struggle. Uh, you're going to have to get back as far as you can, uh, which gets close to here, but really it gets really close into here. So, uh, really I would say nine inch, um, trying to focus that on the, the, the smaller row spacing. If you want to do the 13s definitely put the extension in. So we're going to do a video on that so you can t take a look and we'll add that down in the description. Uh, and that's a good way to just, you know, this will be a fun one to do because we, I can already see here this, whoever had done this uh, previous G actually welded the frame in a couple spots here. So we're going to have some cutting and grinding to do, uh, but we'll show, you know, it's doable. We can make it work and, uh, and uh, it'll be a kind of good then to see after the fact. Um, how the 13s kind of can, can fit in. So we'll rope back around after that one's done uh, and we'll show uh, the 13s fitted in here. All right, I'm back and we got the extension installed with a little persuasion. And really our focus at the end before was, hey, how do we fit the 13 inch finger weeders in here? And we went through kind of why it didn't fit. Uh, we actually flipped the tractor here so you have a little bit of more visibility for what we're doing. But uh, let me show you why the extension makes it work. Um, whereas before you already saw why it didn't work. Uh, only one change was made aside from adding the extension, and that was changing the length of this bar. This is the mod bar that was on there before, uh, and we just changed the length of it to, to this longer one here, um, and we couldn't do it before because one, it would be hitting the wheel back here, and two, really our problem wasn't just about coming back here, it was the fact that we were hitting underneath here, okay, underneath this pedal. So just changing that and adding the extension made it so now we've got a lot of room to bring these fingers off of the yellow, the, the, well, whatever color you have, but it brings it off this middle row. Uh, so now you have the space and then you also are away from this. So that added a lot of room and now you have this movement here that um, you, did not, you did not have before. Um, and Again, if you really needed a little bit more movement, you could take this uh, foot pedal back, uh, take these extended nuts off, and you'd be able to gain a couple more inches even, but this is pretty comfortable if you're, I'm about six foot tall. If you're a little bit taller, uh, I would say even shorter operators, you're gonna find this actually a more comfortable position to have that there. Um, so that's, you know, that's why this works and is necessary for the 13 inch setup on 15 inch centers. Um, even honestly, if you're doing uh, 30 inch, two 30 inch rows, it's just, you get a lot more clearance and, and your, your material flow is gonna be a lot nicer when you have that because you're gonna still have to take care of a lot of the uh, area in between your 30 inch rows. And this is really, the extension adds a lot of utility, uh, brings your older tractor up to, you know, 
the opportunity to use some newer uh, technology that wasn't available when it was there. And so while it doesn't increase or improve your space here, um, it really increases it um, uh, on the sides here. So the extension really allows you with any tooling underneath to, to improve your space. And we talked about the nine inch before and how it was doable without the extension, but it really is helpful to have it. Um, you, you gain that extra space and, and flexibility in your system and you, you don't run up into your, some, some of your different uh, controls, uh, especially your foot controls there. So what, you know, we would recommend that really in about any scenario if you can. Uh, and with it, you know, we ran into some challenges when we when we installed it, and you can see another video. Uh, but uh, definitely doable to overcome. Uh, but if you if you think it might be something that you want to go and get the extension, do check on your you know system, and we can help you look you know figure out what you need to look at, get some pictures or whatever. But it really does open up the space under here, and and we are going to start having some uh, complete kind of kits um, with hey, 13 inch on 15 inch centers, um, that would also include uh, the, the extension. So you can go in and say, hey, I want this entire package uh, and know that that's gonna work in your system. Uh, so, you know, give us a call if you have questions, concerns, uh, you know, curiosity of different setups and, and we'd love to work through what that might look like for you. Thanks.